All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Makar Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule impeccably well. Shalom to the hopeful elect, pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe in the sincere hopes of being delivered in these last days. This is the Bobby Akanan from the GMS Single and Branch. This will serve, as you can see, as an intransient edition video. As always, Lord willing, it be edifying unto you brothers out there and few sisters listening and also learning. Now, um, you know, it's pretty evident that we are at the end of Esau Edom's kingdom. We're in a time where major biblical prophecies are about to be fulfilled upon the face of the earth, man. All right, we're actually in that time. And, you know, one thing I was meditating upon is all you false, misleading congregations out there that haven't been teaching the people the pure doctrine of Yahweh Barshim Yahweh according to the Spirit. All right? Especially, you know, you Israelite congregations out there that do not teach your congregation regarding the MOTB, all right? The Revelations 13 and 16 being the implantable CHIP, all right? Because now we have so much information going into you know, the elite's agenda to um, CHIP the whole world. And there's so much evidence and signs pointing to the fact that this new world order is in fruition. You're going to have a lot of these members of these congregations going to their, um, to their leaders and asking questions about what's actually going on and asking whether, you know, you actually got it wrong. All right? And that's why it's so important to not... It's the word I'm looking for. That's why it's so important not to compromise the truth for a position in this world because that's ultimately what you're doing. You're compromising the truth. You're compromising the pure doctrine of Yahweh Hashim Yahweh Shai because you want to have a placement and coexist in this world of Esau Eden on a particular level, all right? And that's why a lot of these congregations have 501c3 charters, okay? Because they want the benefits, all right? They want the benefits of what Esau has to um, give them in this society. You know, they want the money and they want to live a particular lifestyle. And living that lifestyle means that you have to compromise the truth. You have to compromise the doctrine of Yahweh Barashim Yahweh Shai, which is a terrible thing. All right, so in essence, as the scripture says, you know, you've made a covenant with death. All right, you've actually made a covenant with death. You made a covenant with the wicked and with death you are in agreement, you know, roughly paraphrasing, roughly paraphrasing, all right? And that's a terrible thing, man, because there's going to be a price to pay. There's going to be ramifications for those that compromise this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding for the sake of blending in into Esau's kingdom. All right, because when you take a 501c3, there's particular things that you cannot teach. Okay, there's particular things that you simply cannot teach if you want to receive, you know, that, that backing, you know, of those goodies from the powers that be. All right, and if there's particular things that you can't teach, that means you can never represent the truth of Yahweh Barashim Yahweh Shai in its entirety, all right? And that's why a lot of these groups, a lot of these congregations, they will have, you know, a broad range of the truth, okay? But they'll be lacking in many areas. They'll be lacking in the fact that it's very important to teach the names Yahweh Yahweh Shai, okay? The scripture says, you know, he that calleth from the name of the Lord shall be saved. So the name is a vital component especially in these last days, if you want to be delivered, you have to know the names, okay? The scriptures also talk about, I'll mention it again, 
you know, the MOTB, the Revelations 13 and 16, which if you take the CHIP, all right, that's gonna be detrimental, all right, to your spiritual well-being. Okay, if you take that CHIP, all right, your spiritual salvation is now in question. All right, so that's important information that you're supposed to warn your congregation about is not to take the MOTB because there's a judgment for that, man. It tells us in the book of Revelations 14, all right, regarding the judgment for those that take the MOTB. And you're going to be in, um, in, um, in line, you know, to receive of the second death, okay? Them ICBM missiles, man, which is a terrible thing. And these are things that, you know, leaders of these congregations should be warning the people about. But they're not, all right? They're not warning the people about these things, again, because they've compromised the truth for the sake of having a position in Esau Edom's world, man. Okay, and the Lord is not dealing with that. You have to be all the way in. The scriptures say a little leaven, leaven is the whole lump. So in the back of your mind, you might think, well, I'm telling them that they're Israelites. You know, I'm telling them about, you know, particular things about the law, so on and so forth. But you need the whole gospel. All right, the scriptures say, I've not shunned to declare to you the whole gospel, the whole truth of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai Bashim Akar Kadash. Roughly paraphrasing, man. Okay, you have to teach the whole truth. You can't leave parts out, man. Okay? You can't leave parts out and change the doctrine to suit your particular congregation and to suit, you know, the information, you know, that you think they want to hear, man. Because the scriptures talk about preaching unto the people smooth things and prophesying deceits. All right? Prophesying smooth things and deceits. You're not you're not gearing the people up for the battle. You're not gearing the people up for the for the for the major judgment. That's coming upon this earth by way of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. You're not spiritually and mentally preparing the people for what's actually going to happen in these last days. All right, you're not preparing people, man. And that's why the scriptures also say, if the trumpet give an uncertain sound, you know who's going to prepare themselves to the battle if you're blowing the trumpet that's not alerting people. All right, you're, you're blowing the trumpet of, of of good times, man. You're blowing the trumpet that's that's making people lackadaisical and making them relax. When this is not the time to relax, and when you go into the book, of, the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter three, it tells you about, you know, there's particular times, all right? There's a time of war, you know, there's a time of peace, okay? There's a time to live, there's a time to die, there's a time to be joyous, so on and so forth, but we're actually in the time of war, all right? We're in the time of the new world order system being um, implemented upon the face of the earth, man. So as the scripture says, so what manner of conversation ought you to be, man? All right, in all holy conversation, man. Ephesians 5 and 15 talks about how, you know, we've got to be circumspect, okay? Redeeming the times because the days are evil. So if you're part of a congregation and they're, they're not telling you that, you know, we're in evil times or we're in times of great judgment upon the face of the earth and you've got to get right with your how about Shimia or Shai and, and many people are going to be destroyed, people are going to get enslaved. That's, that's not sound doctrine, man. All right, that is not sound doctrine. You have to tell the people the truth. You have to tell the people what's actually going on and how the Lord, you know, is angry with the wicked every day. All right, they're not teaching you these these things in the churches, man. All right, they're not teaching you these things in the so-called black church. The black church is a failure, man. All right, it's a failed it's a failed demonic demonic project of, of Esau, Edom, and Satan. Okay, and they don't have the truth. Okay, the Christian church does not have the truth and they're only going into the scriptures now because the Hebrew Israelites go into the scriptures, man. That's the only reason they've been forced to actually go into the scriptures, all right, and try and break things down. It's because people are waking up, all right? People are, are realizing that the Christian church don't have the answers, that the Catholic church don't have the answers, that Islam don't have the answers, man. All of these false religions out there do not have the answers, man. The true religion, all right, is the religion of the Bible, the religion of the Israelites, man, okay? Believing in Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, man. That's the true religion, man, okay? According to the pure doctrine, all right, that's been bestowed upon us through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai by way of the apostles and elders, man, and their elders before them. That's the pure doctrine. That's the pure religion, man. And if you ain't coming under that, that umbrella, 
okay? Then the Lord ain't dealing with you. And it's as simple as that. If you ain't coming in the same spirit, in the same doctrine as what our apostles and elders are teaching, then Yahweh Hashem Yahushua is not dealing with you, man. Okay? Because all of these all of these other congregations out there, you know, as the scripture says, they're, they're like dumb dogs and they're not barking. All right? They're not telling you, they're not warning you of what's actually going to happen in these latter days, man. All right, they keep telling you these smooth things and not preparing you for the battle. So that's an uncertain sound, man. Okay? It's very important to tell the people the reality of what we face in these last days because when when the shit hits the fan, as they say, you know, when, when the shit hits the fan, then what the hell is your congregation going to do? They're going to run into and fro, you know, looking for the truth when it's too late. Okay? And it's now evident, you know, that you know we're gonna keep saying it that the MOTB you know is the CHIP all right that's evident okay that is evident so a lot of you people out there you're gonna start backtracking but you're not gonna give you know the respect you're not gonna give you know you're not gonna have the integrity you know to admit that you was wrong okay and that pride is gonna consume you man okay that pride is gonna consume you because I know a lot of these congregations are gonna to have to start teaching that the MOTB, all right, is the CHIP. You're gonna have no choice, okay? But you gotta have integrity, man, okay? You gotta be sincere. You gotta say, look, man, we were wrong. You know, we were teaching this, but actually Great Millstone was right through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh None of you are gonna do that, man, all right? Because you don't have integrity. You don't have, you know, a good character about you, man. Okay, and that's going to be the death of a lot of you people. All right, pride is going to be the death of a lot of you people out here, man. Okay, but with that, Lord willing, you know, this uh, brief lesson was edifying. And until the next one, Lord willing, I'll be back later on. Shalom.